In this video, let me consider one numerical on Laplace transform. Assuming that the staircase wave of figure shown below is not repeated, find its Laplace transform. If this voltage wave is applied to RL series circuit with R equal to 1 ohm and L equal to 1 Henry, find the current I of T. So this is the staircase waveform given and it is not repeated. The first thing is we supposed to find the Laplace transform of this staircase waveform. Then we have to apply this as an input for series RL circuit with R equal to 1 ohm and L equal to 1 Henry and we supposed to find current flows through in that circuit. So first let me find the Laplace transform of this waveform. Let's calculate Laplace transform of given waveform. So from this waveform we can see that here a step signal begins at t equal to 1 and ends at t equal to 2 and its magnitude is 1. Similarly Another step signal begins at t equal to 2, ends at t equal to 3 and its magnitude is 2 volts. Similarly, another step which begins at t equal to 3 and ends at t equal to 4, its magnitude is 4 and we have last step which is begins at t equal to 4 and ends at t equal to 5 and its magnitude is 4. So first let me represent this waveform in terms of unit step signal. So here we can observe that. Let me consider this as the first step signal which begins at t equal to 1 and ends at t equal to 2. I am talking about this portion. So this I can represent it as u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 2. That is it begins at t equal to 1 Therefore, it is shifted unit step signal that can be represented as u of t minus 1 and it ends at t equal to 2 that is nothing but minus u of t minus 2. Similarly, if we consider another step signal which begins at t equal to 2 and ends at t equal to 3 that is let me show it as. So now I am talking about this portion. So here the step signal begins at t equal to 2 and ends at t equal to 3. Its magnitude is 2. So I can represent this in terms of unit step signal as it begins at t equal to 2. So it will be u of t minus 2 and ends at t equal to 3. That is minus u of t minus 3. So now similarly, <coughs> now let me consider another step signal which begins at t equal to 3 and set t equal to 4 that is this one so its magnitude is 3 so here the magnitude of this one is 2 so its so its magnitude should be 2 that is 2 u of t minus 2 minus 2 u of t minus 3 so now similarly for this it can be written as it begins at t equal to 3 its magnitude is 3 it can be represented as 3 u of t minus 3 minus 3 u of t minus 4 so similarly we have another step signal which begins at t equal to 4 ends at t equal to 5 so that can be represented as so this is the last step so it can be represented as its magnitude is 4 that is 4 u of t minus 4 minus u that is minus 4 u of t minus 5. So sum of these all signals is nothing but the given staircase waveform. So now I can represent this v of t in terms of equations as now let me write v of t that is I can write v of t is equal to that is we have first signal 
this one let me write that that is u of t minus 1 minus u of t minus 2 plus so its magnitude is 1 so here next signal is this one that is 2u of t minus 2 2u of t minus 2 minus 2u of t minus 3 plus then we have this equation that is 3u of t minus 3 minus 3u of t minus 4 then we have plus 4u of t minus 4 we have plus 4u of t minus 4 minus 4u of t minus 5. Now let me simplify this. I can represent it as v of t is equal to. So here we have u of t minus 1. So here we have minus u of t minus 2 plus from this I can write it as 2u of 2u of t minus 2 minus 1u of t minus 2 that is nothing but we have u of t minus 2 then here we have 3u of t minus 3 minus 2u of t minus 3 that is nothing but this is plus so here we have plus u of t minus 3 Similarly, here we have minus 3u of t minus 4 plus 4u of t minus 4. That is 4u of t minus 4 minus 3u of t minus 4. That is nothing but u of t minus 4. Then finally, we have this statement that is 4u of t minus 5. <coughs> so, let me call this as equation 1. So, this v of t is nothing but representation of this waveform in terms of unit step signal. Taking Laplace transform of equation 1, we get, that is now let me write the Laplace transform of this. Laplace transform of V of T is V of S is equal to we know that Laplace transform of u of t is 1 upon s whereas the Laplace transform of shifted signal that is u of t minus 1 will be e power minus s divided by s. So therefore Laplace transform of this will be e power minus s divided by s. Similarly Laplace transform of this will be plus e power minus 2s divided by s plus Laplace transform of this will be e power minus 3s divided by s plus Laplace transform of this is e power minus 4s by s and finally we have minus 4 e power minus 5s divided by s. So this is the Laplace transform of given staircase waveform. So now in first step we have found the Laplace transform of given staircase waveform. So now if, if we apply this signal to RL circuit then we have to find the current I of t. So now let me draw the RL circuit. So let this is the input signal V of t. Let this be R. The value of R is 1 ohm and V have inductor that is L which is equal to 1 Henry and let me assume that current flows through this is I of T. So now we suppose to calculate the current I of T. Now to find I of T let me convert this circuit from time domain into S domain presenting above circuit in S domain. So in S domain V of T will become V of S 
the register R value will become same that is R which is equal to 1 ohm and in S domain inductor L can be replaced by L into S. So here inductor value L is 1 Henry so it will be 1 S yes, that is nothing but S yes. and current I of T will become I of S. Yes. So this is the S yes domain representation of the time domain circuit. So here the input signal V of S is nothing but this signal which is which already we have obtained by taking Laplace transform of given signal. So from this circuit first we have to find I of S. After finding I of S we have to take inverse Laplace transform to get I of T. So here I can represent I of S is equal to v of s divided by 1 plus s that is nothing but s plus 1 so therefore i can write it as i of s is equal to so v, so v of s is nothing but this entire signal let me take this s as common 1 over s so i can represent numerator as e power s plus e power e power minus s plus e power minus 2s plus e power minus 3s plus e power minus 4s minus 4 e power minus 5s whole thing divided by s in bracket this is denominator that is s plus 1. So now let me simplify this using partial fraction method. So here I will keep this numerator constant so I can write it as i of s is equal to split it as a by s plus b by s plus 1 and I will keep this numerator as it is that is e power minus s plus e power minus 2s plus e power minus 3s plus e power minus 4s minus 5 e power minus 5s sorry this is 4 e power minus so now let me simplify this to find the values of a and b so I can here as we know this i of s is nothing but this expression so this can be represented as a by s plus b by s plus 1 so if we compare the LHS and RHS we'll get 1 is equal to here the LCM will be s in bracket s plus 1 then s plus 1 term will go here that is s plus 1 plus we have b s so now to get the constants a and b let s equal to minus 1 so if you substitute s, s equal to minus 1 this term will get cancelled you will get 1 is equal to a in bracket minus 1 plus 1 plus b in bracket minus 1 so simplifying this we'll get b equal to minus 1 similarly let let me make this term equal to 0 that is take s equal to 0 then b will become 0 so in that case 1 is equal to a in bracket so s is 0 plus 1 so this term will be 0 so in that case a will be 1 can represent this i of s as i of s is equal to we have a value is 1 that is 1 by s and b value is minus 1 so it is minus 1 upon s plus 1 and we have this entire term that is e power minus s plus e power minus 2s plus e power minus 3s plus e power minus 4s minus 4 e power minus 5s so now here we found i of s now to get i of t we have to take inverse laplace transform of this expression now let me take inverse laplace transform of this that is applying inverse laplace transform so we can get inverse Laplace transform of I of S is 
i of t is equal to here we can see that 1 over s e power minus s that is inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s e power minus s is u of t minus 1 because already here we have done inverse Laplace transform of e power minus s by s is u of t minus 1. So likewise inverse Laplace transform of e power minus 2s by s is u of t minus 2. So let me put the same thing here. So here 1 by s into e power minus 2s. Inverse Laplace transform of that is plus u of t minus 2. Similarly 1 by s e power minus 3s is plus u of t minus 3 plus 1 over s e power minus 4s is u of t minus 4 minus we have 4 u of t minus 5. So similarly minus here we have minus 1 by s plus 1 this will be multiplied with each term of this expression. So that is minus this minus I will keep here. So here the inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 1 e power minus s it will become e power minus of t minus 1 u of t minus 1 plus similarly inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 1 e power minus 2s will be e power minus t minus 2 u of t minus 2 plus 1 by s plus 1 e power minus 3s will be e power minus t minus 3 u of t minus 3 plus 1 by s plus 1 e power minus 4s will be e power minus t minus 4 u of t minus 4 and finally we have 1 by s plus 1 4 power 4 into e power minus 5s will be 4 e power minus t minus 5 u of t minus 5. So this is the required current I of t which flows in series RL circuit. Thank you for watching.